Hello guys, Kid here. Today bringing you a Pool 2 discard deck. In Pool 1, there's actually not many cards that has the discard mechanism. As you can see, even in Pool 2, there's not exactly the most. We got 2, 4, 6, 7. But well, it's enough for you guys to wreck some other players with this. Well, let's start with describing the cards that want to be discarded. First off is the big boss, Apocalypse. When you discard this from your hand, put it back with plus 4 power. It's just cool. And then there's Wolverine. When this is discarded or destroyed, play it at a random location. Then the Swarm. When this is discarded from your hand, add 2 copies that cost 0 to your hand. So whenever you discard this, you're gonna have 2 swarms with 0 cost and 3 power. And then you can distribute them as you wish. So on turn 6, you can play something like Apocalypse into 2 swarms. And they might not remember that you got that power spike. Okay, so those are the cards that want to be discarded. But how are we going to discard them? Let's start with Blade. We're all familiar with him because he was pretty good in one of the strongman decks. We can empty our hand by using Blade to discard a card. And then, that's gonna be Lady Sif. Discard the highest cost card from your hand. So if you have Apocalypse in your hand, Lady Sif is going to discard that. It's actually great because Lady Sif only targets the highest cost card. Then the Sword Master. Discard a card from your hand. Okay, this is not as smart as Lady Sif, because he's just going to discard a random card. That is why you need to make sure that you empty your hand before using Sword Master. So let's say if you want to discard Apocalypse, you have to empty out your hand on the lower cost guys, and then you'll be just fine. But then, there is one guy, he does not want to be discarded, he does not want to, you know, discard stuff. But he works with this card because Morbus, with ongoing, plus 2 power for each time you discarded a card this game. Yeah, this vampire is very smart. He's like a computer. Every time you discard a card, he will remember it. And then he's gonna gain plus 2 power. So even if it's in the hand, on the field, you know, in the deck, he's gonna remember that, and then when you slap him down, he's gonna have a ton of power. If you discarded like I don't know five cards, then he's at ten power. Awesome. And finally, 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 there are the generally good cards with Angela. Yeah, slap down Angela as an engine. Then you are going to stack that lane with stuff like Nightcrawler, Corks, and Man, etc. Then you gain a ton of power, and you're pretty sure that you can win that lane. And there's one last guy. Well, girl. America Chavez. So with America Chavez, you never draw her before turn 6, but you are guaranteed to draw her on 6. What it does is, it guarantees that you only draw from the 11 other cards in your deck. So you are more likely to have Apocalypse in your hand for you to discard with, you know, Lady Sif, or the other guys like Source Master, Blade, etc. Making the deck a lot more consistent. Now let's jump into some games and see how this discard deck functions. Yeah, okay, that's Shadowland. Not really my favorite, but I think we're just fine. I'm gonna pass as usual because I got Angela in my starting hand. We want to stack up our stuff. And you know, there's Morbius. Morbius is going to be great. But sadly, we don't have any discards in our hand yet. So we're just gonna slap down our Angela. And see how it goes from there. Crimson Cosmos. Okay. That's a little troubling. Because we cannot play the small cards. What's even more troubling is we don't have any of our discard mechanisms here at all. So for now, we're just gonna stack an Angela lane to make sure we win that. 
Yeah, the cork is a little weaker, but it's going to jam them, hopefully. Okay, that's lock. So, destroy deck, right? We can just go Lady Sif. Finally, we get out this card mechanism. And we are going to have a very strong turn 6. Or maybe not very strong. Pretty strong. So it's guaranteed that Apocalypse is going to be discarded. Oh no, a Killmonger! Ah, but anyway, our one cost cards are completely wrecked. That's pretty sad. But back to what I was saying, Apocalypse is 6 cost, that's why Lady Sif is always going to discard that. No problem. Um, In hindsight, I think I should have gone for the Morbus in the middle, because it's just gonna keep gaining power. But oh well, it kind of works out. They Professor X into the middle and locked themselves into a very bad position. Yep, if you commit Professor X and still lose, then yeah, you may well just retreat. And that is GG well played. Okay, Dream Dimension. Should I slap down my Ant-Man? Eh, well, why not? We gotta be concerned, because on turn 5, our cards are gonna cost one more. Agent 13, eh? I wonder what they got. Oh, come on, we can't play cards in the meadow. Yeah, that's kinda rough. Um, We can't discard this turn, so I'm just gonna set up my more builds. I'm not sure why they are stacking the right location. Come on, minus power. Aww. Making bad plays and getting bailed out. The story of my opponent's life. But well, I guess I'm just gonna slap down... Nightcrawler, maybe? Hmm... Yeah, because I want to empty my hand first. To guarantee that I discard the target that I want to. Yeah, Captain America. So the right lane seems to be lost. But it's okay because I got Nightcrawler. I can always just move it. I have to be a little bit afraid of Electra though, because if it kills my Nightcrawler, then I don't have a reliable way to, you know, win the medal. But now I can just go for Swordmaster. It doesn't really matter which one I discard. It's better if I discard Apocalypse, obviously. Because, you know, I don't have much space left. Come on! Discard Apocalypse! Oh, the Moon Girl. So... Oopsie. But still, we're gonna show off the Swarm. Zero. Three. That's really good. So the Dream Dimension actually does not affect us that much. Because we are just going to... Come on, you snap us. That's mean. But anyway, we can just slap down all our stuff. And then next turn... Wait a minute. Yeah, we can Blade Swarm Swarm. And then move the Nightcrawler. So next turn we can Apocalypse. Sounds like a good, good plan. Now what we want to do here is... Remember the ordering. Order is very important. But oh well, I guess it doesn't in this case because uh, we can empty out our hand. We move the Nightcrawler, we just put down the blade and uh, drop our swarms. I'm actually gonna leave Apocalypse for the right lane because we gotta have more power than they do. So if you don't know about Mojo World, whoever has more cards here gets plus 100 power. But if you both have the same amount of cards, then, you know, you don't get that buff. So, they're gonna see we got an Apocalypse with 12 power. What are they gonna do? What do you expect they will do? <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna slap it down. The stakes are very high. They snapped, we snapped back. Come on, are they gonna give us 8 coops? Oh, they're not stupid. They retreated. But still, it's a 4 coop game. GG well played. 
Okay, so we don't want to lose that much power. I think I'm just gonna slap down my cork, because we got blade in our hand. That's why we want to empty the stuff that we don't want to discard, and then blade can discard whatever he wants. Okay, that's actually perfect. We can slap down Nightcrawler and then Blade. It's really nice that the Mantis did not hit. So, you know, they don't got more power. When I see Mantis, I would say... Um, it's gonna be a Death of Zordak. And we just got Apocalypse, sweet. But the thing is, they know now. They know we got Apocalypse. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? I think we're just gonna end man. I guess there's no harm slapping down the Wolverine. Usually you just want to discard it, but if you don't draw into your discards, then it's cool. Oh, nice! That morph did not turn into Apocalypse. That was just way, way, way too close. The cloning vats actually bailed us out. But now we can just go Lady Sif. And it's going to discard our Apocalypse again. After this discard, it's going to be at 16 power. Next turn cards are going to cost one more though. So... Might be a little problematic. But I think it's okay, because we might just go for another Lady Sif. But let's see, let's see. They're playing a rock. Hey, hey. So the rock actually did disrupt them. Uh, I'm just gonna go Lady Sif here. Because if I just Sauce Master, it might discard Lady Sif. So no Sword Master. Thing is, when you play these games. Okay, we snap right here. Because if we wait until next turn, then they're just gonna retreat, losing one cube. But now, it's the same, and they don't get to see more cards. And this is the perfect timing for you to snap. Don't let them get to turn 6 for free. If they want to see the final cards, they need to snap and lose at least 2 cubes. So after those games, you guys will see the power of the Scar deck. And of course, Apocalypse. He's just crazily good. He's got a ton of power, the more you discard him, the stronger he gets. But that's one big problem with this deck. Yes, it gets a lot of very quick victories. However, your opponents will see how many times you have discarded your Apocalypse. And they'll know, yep, you're gonna slap down a ton of power. Okay, let's say you discarded it three times. Then it's plus four. Meaning it's gonna be 20 power. Yeah, they're gonna be able to play around that. So if they stay, you have to think. Okay, are they able to play around my plus 20 power? And even if they can't, they can always just retreat. So that's the thing about the stack. The main weakness is very predictable. And they can see your final play. And then... You cannot win a ton of cubes because there's no surprise factor. It's not like a Spectrum deck where you can buff all three lanes and then they do not expect you to be able to win. Apocalypse is very obvious. You've shown them, yeah, I have 20 power to slap down. What can you do? But then in this game, it doesn't work that well because they can always just retreat and lose one cube. That is why we need to snap in very smart timings in order to force them to stay in and lose more cubes. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you leave a like, comment, sub to the channel for free, so you'll never miss out on awesome videos on Marvel Snap. Now have a great day, and peace out.